let's take a look at training strategies. Training and development serves a variety of sometimes strategic purposes that support performance, risk management, and human capital purposes. On-the-job training, known as OTJ, is perhaps the most common training technique, and not what most people associated with training. On-the-job training is not sink or swim for new employees, nor is an employer giving an employee a manual and a name of a supervisor to contact if there's a problem. Coaching involves assigning an experienced employee to help other employees to master their job situations. This approach is usually regarded as a cost-effective way of transferring essential job skills and knowledge, although part of the appeal lies in the fact that it seldom requires a separate budget. Existing staff are simply asked to supply training as temporary additional duty. Although it may seem obvious that managers can improve the effectiveness of OTJ by carefully selecting and training experienced employees to fulfill the instructor role, they don't always do so. Mentoring is a developmental approach through which an inexperienced employee learn and develop their career potential through ongoing, periodic dialogue and coaching from senior managers. Whereas the issues that are dealt with in OTJ are usually fairly technical and immediate, mentors often assist in dealing with long-term goals, complex skill development, and professional socialization. In-house seminars and presentations are more widely associated with the idea of training for many people than the approaches discussed above. Web-based learning is increasingly used in employee training and continuing education. Simulation allows managers and employees to replicate on-the-job experiences without disruption of ongoing work processes. Advanced academic degrees are increasingly required for management positions, so many employees hoping to advance in their careers return to universities. Determining what training and how much training often begins with an assessment process.